Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today's video is all about the recent TikTok video that has gone a little bit viral, like micro viral, I would say. That is this woman going through her Fashion Nova purchases for the past few years and finding out she spent £16,000 or $16,000 or whatever, which is a crazy amount. But I wanted to dig into it a little bit because I really enjoyed her video. I have some concerns, but I think it's actually a good thing. So this woman's video started with her literally adding up by hand all of the different Fashion Nova items she's bought over the years, all her receipts and collating them together. And like, you can see there's a few years where she spent like thousands of pounds in one year. Um, and it's just insane to me that someone is spending that much on fashion, but I do think it's actually more common than we might believe. I haven't bought much fashion for a while now, but I do think that a lot of people are spending this much, especially on fast fashion. Um, and that kind of brings me onto my point, like whenever you are in a public facing role like this and you are trying to ask people to like be more mindful of their consumption of fast fashion, the argument they always come back with is, I deserve affordable clothing. Like I'm allowed to buy affordable clothing. I can't afford to spend loads of money on sustainable options. And I think this video brings a really important different side to this argument. Um, for many people who are maybe defending their shopping habits online, they aren't aware of how much that price culminates in a few years. So they're probably buying, you know, like 30 pounds worth of clothes a week or I don't even know, maybe it's bigger than that. Maybe it's like a 30 pounds a day scale. Um, I don't even know how you would start to do the math of, maybe I can try do the math of what an average day spend would be over this woman's like five years or however long she said she'd spent 16,000 pounds in. But to them, that like small daily amount or small weekly amount is affordable, is justifiable. And not often are they actually stepping back to think like this woman did about how much that adds up over the years. Imagine if everybody who shopped fast fashion did this. Imagine if this was like the next internet challenge that people have to add up over the past five years, how much they've spent at Boohoo, Zara, H&M, fast fashion, like all the stores that they shop at. I think they'd be really astounded at how quickly that total adds up. And I don't think they'd be able to justify that affordable fashion argument any longer. Personally, that's my personal opinion. I know there's obviously some people that aren't shopping this amount that maybe just shop fast fashion for the things they absolutely need. And these are not the people I'm making this argument to. It's the like Shein haul, H&M haul girlies that maybe need to take a step back and think about how much they're actually spending. Anyway, so that was like the first part of the video really. Then this creator said that she would be donating a load of these clothes or trying to sell them to recoup the cost so she could start her wardrobe from scratch. And this was like the wrong thing to do in my opinion. Um, I don't wanna jump on this girl, obviously I'm not, not trying to judge her, but I do think because the video has become so popular and is probably going to be more of a discussion on social media for a couple of weeks based on how big it's getting, I think we do need to th talk about how this isn't right. Let's start with her donating all these clothes to charity or the clothes she can't sell. This is a pretty bad option. Um, obviously donating clothes to charity seems like the right idea. A lot of people do do it but charity shops are inundated with clothing donations and they certainly aren't gonna be able to sell a whole influx of Fashion Nova clothing that is not good quality. They will probably ship it off to the global south and it will either end up being sold in third hand markets and stunting the fashion economy there or it will end up in landfill and later be burned and incinerated. Obviously this is worst case scenario, but my charity shops locally are inundated with fast fashion and they stay there week after week. No one is really buying that stuff. Um, it's not really good enough quality for a first purchase, let alone buying it secondhand when someone's already worn it. And then the other part was her restarting her wardrobe after trying to sell these clothes or, or donate them, whatever she said. 
I really don't think this is a good idea. I saw Lakeland's TikTok about this where she spoke about how restarting your wardrobe from scratch is never a good idea. Um, that was really good if you guys gonna go watch that. But I think she's just missing the point here. I think she's, instead of stepping back and thinking about the impact of that clothing, not only on the price, like how much she could have bought with that cost, but also what the environmental cost was and how wasteful it was, I guess. Like she's spent 16,000 pounds on clothing and she doesn't want to keep any of it. It's just insane. And I think anyone in this position, if you do try to do a similar wardrobe audit where you try to determine how much you've spent on the, over the past five years or whatever, don't then throw that fast fashion out. <laughs> There's so many other options to do. If you still like it, keep it in your wardrobe, wear it as much as possible. That's the most sustainable thing you can do because that item has been purchased now. Don't buy any more, but keep what you have. Otherwise you can rent it out. You can donate it to friends who will wear the item. You can host a clothes swap. You can upcycle it in some way. You can repair it if it's ripped or whatever. I did do a TikTok on this where I said something like, I want this to become the next internet challenge. I want more people to be looking at how much they've spent on fast fashion. And I also said something like, imagine if we hadn't given this amount of money to fast fashion brands. Imagine if we'd spent it on sustainable fashion instead, like secondhand, better designers, um, you know, all these different sustainable options that people often argue are too expensive. And sometimes I do agree they are quite expensive, more expensive than what people are willing to pay. But when you think about it like this, spending 16,000 pounds over this period of time, how, that's a lot of money. I don't think you can like argue the affordability claim anymore. And I do think I will get some negative, responses uh as with any time you question people's shopping habits online but yeah i do think it's worth it and i do think it's an important debate we need to be having now yeah i think it's really interesting when videos like this pop up onto tiktok and social media because it's almost always comes outside the sustainable fashion bubble and then a lot of people are introduced to sustainable fashion in this way. So I think the video was really good. I'm really glad she filmed it. I'm really glad it's created like a whole talking point, but I think it's important that we do discuss it and hopefully make sure that if people are gonna copy her, they copy her in a better way. Anyway, we'd love to know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.